Most people in life learn how to live and let live. They don't try to walk into someone's life out of jealousy and out of their own struggles and strife to try to take over that person's life. We have monsters in the impoverished-minded community who are frankly financially impoverished. But the minute they meet a mind, the minute they meet someone who has a different idea about life, in poor communities, that person literally gets attacked. They get abused, they get physically assaulted, they get sexually assaulted, they get raped in ways you can't even imagine. Today's technological world actually produces inaudible audio files in which someone can tell you to do something without even you knowing what was going on in the wilds. Black people are using this technology, Arab people are using this technology, Chinese are most definitely using the technology because they're even connecting computers to their brain through electronic circuitry. They did that a little bit in Japan with a, a religious cult that I became familiar with because they were always making the news for their kind of crazy attitudes and their crazy behavior harming society. But the truth is, in the world, there's always going to be somebody who we think is crazy, but we don't have the mental health capabilities or certifications or processes to say that, but we can certainly monkey their life. And that's what ill people and families do. They're so jealous of someone's capabilities that they just want to make sure that they live their entire life in, well, poo. And I can be a joking person about what I like to say and how I like to give poetic justice and license to my day, but the truth is that an immoral mind attacks people all the time. An illegal woman has devised a, a way to harm a man like me or others. My body has been shaved since I've come to this community. It started at the Wesleyan uh, United Methodist Church. I was really tired when I first arrived and I simply asked the people in the office, could I just sit in the sanctuary out of the cold and just rest for a while? When I woke up, I found my legs had been shaved by the men and women who play there and stay there during the day. And I was so offended, but I wondered why I didn't feel it. I wondered why I couldn't see it, because when I was held in captivity without my permission, someone monkeyed my mind. That has continued to happen, and even last night, my beard was more cut by the liars of the land. The liars of the land say, you're mine and you're my slave, and I'm going to enslave myself to your life. I'm going to make sure I take everything from you because I'm so jealous in my life. I'm so immature in my mind, and I'm so vile in this world. The illness in the world is because they do not regard the Lord. The illness in the world is because they do not give people the right dignities of human rights. Human rights says, I'm in control of me. You're in control of you. Don't you cross that line. Yet we have people like blacks and whites and Muslims who do it all the time. I can tell you this factually because of my own personal experience, but there's always a loudmouth girl and a loudmouth boy who says, you don't want me to do that? Wait and watch and see. When you're not paying attention, when you can't say no to me, I'm going to take it from you anyway. I'm going to do it to you anyway. I'm going to be me, the man that I am, the powerful guy that I am, but I'm going to do it in the shadows like a coward in the land. In America, we have rights to human rights. We have those rights because we're the people who took it across the world to 400 nations in the United Nations. And you can look that up. What I don't understand most of the time in politics is that they're still pissing around with Georgia, acting like Georgia still has rights. They don't have rights. Under international law, they don't have the right to require anyone to do one fucking thing. The Human Rights Declaration of the World that 400 nations signed into includes our America and includes American states. American states must follow the international treaties. So why the politicians are still pucking around in all this shit in people's private lives, I can't understand. No politician has the right to require someone to have certain type of medical care, certain type of procedures, certain type of anything in their land. That is one of the major tenets, one of the whole sole reasons that we went across the seas to help people in third world nations was to stop the abuse of women, to stop the trafficking of children, and to stop the immoral acts of slavery in the land.